This is Asteroids for the BBC Micro. Again it's using the Arcade ROM in what I have been calling my BBC emulators, a bit like MAME. But I guess it's actually more like a source code port where you haven't got the source code so you've had to disassemble the original EXE. I write them so that they load the original ROM and then patch it so that I can ship the game without the ROM and people who have their own copy of the ROM can still play the game. Originally I wanted to write asteroids with line drawing routines, but once I realised how many small asteroids there were, there was no way they'd even be able to run the setup code let alone actually draw the lines. For its time, asteroids had a very fast processor, and actually spent quite a lot of time generating the vectors that the arcade cabinet will draw. For my port I've bypassed some of that code but there's still quite a bit running so it actually takes about a quarter of the time to set up vectors that there's no hardware to draw. To try and minimise flicker I sort the asteroids into six buckets from the top to the bottom of the screen and then start drawing when the raster is right at the bottom of the screen in the hopes that the raster won't catch me before I finish drawing all the asteroids. I use a similar technique to play the sounds and to draw, know when to draw explosions that is looking at what the game thinks it's supposed to be doing at the moment looking at its state and using that to decide what to draw where and which sound effects to play the only thing I don't think I've added yet is the little jet of fire out of the back of the spaceship when you thrust as usual I struggled with the sound but it's especially difficult with these old games that use TTL and analogue circuitry to generate the effects. It's so hard to try and approximate that with a square wave. I would like to have used the high res version of mode 0, which would be 640 by 512 to try and make the vectors look a bit nicer. Um, but there just isn't enough memory for this, and the extra drawing would take too long as well, so maybe I'll have to write a custom version to do that or maybe somebody else will.